We're in Hanoi, Vietnam's capital city. We've only been here two days and I already absolutely love it. Yesterday, we went around the Old Quarter, we ate some delicious Vietnamese food, and we visited the famous Hoa Lo Prison. But, we also saw just how crazy this city can get. Stick around to see what went down. Hi, we're Omar and Annie. We love food, and I mean, really love it. So much so that we decided to leave England to travel the world and try and reach what frankly seems like an insane goal of trying a dish from every country on the planet. After some fun in Thailand, we're now in our second country of Vietnam, doing stuff like this. We post every Saturday, so if you love food like us, then consider subscribing. We are on Hanoi's famous train street, so once, maybe twice a day, trains come down this very tiny street. We're going to walk down the street, but a policeman blew his whistle at us and said, you're not allowed to come down here. I assume that's what he said, he shouted at us in Vietnamese. Then we were sort of rescued by a, a coffee seller who said, oh, you're allowed to come down here, but you have to buy a coffee. And we're like, all right, why didn't you say so? <laughs> I'm happy to buy your coffee. So if you want to see this street, buy a coffee. What we think is the when you see the downward inflection above the A here, that's it's a down it's a downtone, so it sort of sounds like you're disappointed. So it's not ka, it's ka. And when you see an upward one like above the A here, it's like you're asking a question. So it's like da, and I don't know what the hat one is. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna check that now with the lady who lives in Google Translate. So we found it. Translate lady, how do we say this? Cafe Yeah, so we're right with the up. What about the, the car? Cafe like Just sounds like car, yeah. It's just car. Just Little. Oh, okay. Just car. Oh, just car. okay. What about the, um, the on the E here, the up down? The hat? The yeah. hat here. Yeah. yeah. It's like um, A. E. Oh, so oh. Fay. 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 Uh, Fay. Oh. Fay. It sort okay. of fades. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. you don't have to pronounce it so intensely like Omar was doing. It's just. It's not car. No, You're it's not slightly car. disappointed. Yeah. Car car. Car. The green man is on, which doesn't necessarily mean it's safe to cross here, but you just gotta go. We made it to Hualo Prison, which is also uh, somewhat ironically called the Hanoi Hilton. Now taking bookings for 2020 and beyond. <laughs> so this prison was built by French colonialists in the late 1800s. And after that, the Vietnamese government used it for criminals. And during the Vietnamese War... Also called the Vietnam War. Two Americans. But here they call it the American War. Yeah, during the war. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> during the war. During the war. During the war. During the war. Now. You say during the war, once more, <laughs> I'm going to pour this cup of tea right over your ear. I wasn't going to say during the war. Well, that's all right then. During the war, <laughs> the Vietnamese government used it to house American prisoners of war who were shot down in northern Vietnam in their helicopters or planes. We're going to go check it out. <laughs> Just come out of the uh, Hanoi Hilton. What did you think? It was really interesting to see. Um, I've never seen a prison that looks quite like that. It's very sparse. The audio guide's pretty good. Really gives you a feeling of what it would have been like to, to be a prisoner there. Certainly very cramped conditions by the sound of it. Very uncomfortable yeah. as well. Just like slabs of concrete um, to sit on and all the prisoners would be like shackled, fettered. 
um, sort of shackled at the feet and you just have to lie down. In one of the rooms, the floor was slanted, so you sort of have to hold yourself up by your hands um, to stay seated, which looked horrible. Well, luckily, it's not been in operation since 1994, so you're not likely to get put in while in prison. It costs 30,000 per person to get in, uh, 20,000 for your guidebook, and if you want the audio guide, it's 50,000. Come check it out. It's a Wednesday evening in Hanoi and we are going to check out the Beer Street but first we need some fuel so we got some New York pizza. Look at that cheese! Delicious. Great way to start your night on Beer Street. The inevitable alcohol deluge that is to follow. <laughs> so we're going to eat this and then we're going to get going and check out what's here. violence in Asia, way more than I have in the UK. Maybe maybe just because we go out more. I don't know what the guy had done. He looked like he was drunk. The other guy looked like a shopkeeper. I, I don't know what had happened. Scary Vietnam. Next day. I'm really excited. I got beef. It looks very meaty. It got some really nice noodles. I'm gonna try some of this broth first. It looks really good. Mm. It's really nice. It reminds me of Jewish chicken soup. <laughs> That's exactly what the broth tastes like. But it's really tasty. Yeah, it's really mild. Really hearty as well. Like it's quite comforting. Uh, and this was 40,000 and the special was 40,000. So, We'll go hungry in Vietnam. No. We've just finished our delicious pho. Did a lot today. Saw a prison, had coffee by a train track. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun and frolics in Vietnam and other places around the world. More fun, frolics and fun. See you next time.